and good morning math masters fourth grade students time for the problem set now if you feel you could do this on your own go for it please uh, if not follow along with me it's going to be page um, 17. today's date is 08 20 2020. okay what we got going on here is um get the uh, uh excuse me on the place value uh, chart below, label the units as always, and represent the number 90,523. So let's label ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred, thousands, and the millions place value. All right, so we got that down. That's our first order of, do, uh, first uh, bit of business to do today. I'm gonna put on my timer. So the number we're working with is 90,523. So think about 90, that's 10,000, right? 90,000, zero thousands, five hundredths, two tens, and three ones. This is write the number in word form. Okay, remember word form is writing it down. 90,000, comma, see right there, 90,500. I'm gonna run out of room, but that's okay. And then 23. And we put the little hyphen there. All right, let's continue on. So let's write the number in expanded form. Remember what expanded form is? We take each place value. So how many 10,000s? Nine. So that's 90,000. No thousands plus five hundredths plus two tens. What are two tens? 10 times two, 20. And then plus three ones. And it equals 90,523. Thing of beauty. Let's go on to our uh, next place value chart. We're going to do zeros, tens, hundreds, thousands, right? Ten, thousands, hundred, thousands, and finally the millions. All right. What number are we dealing with here? We're dealing with uh, 905,203. Is that 905,000? Yeah. So 905,000. How many hundred thousands? Nine. How many ten thousands? Zero. How many thousands? Five. And then two hundredths, zero tens, and three ones. It says write the number in word form. Word or written form. So I'm going to say, okay, nine hundred five thousand. Nine hundred five. Remember, we don't say that word and. Comma, right? Because that's where the comma goes. 905,000. I'm going to have to start down here. 500. Oops. Not 500. 200. 3. So there's my 905,000. There's my 203. Notice I didn't put the word and in there. I used to have a voice teacher. He'd always say, smile when you say that. And. And. I guess that's how you're supposed to say, and. All right, and then it says, um, write the number in expanded form. Okay, we're gonna start with 100 thousands. So 900,000 plus, no 10,000, so plus 5,000. Plus how many hundreds? 200. Plus zero tens plus three ones. So there we have it. 900,000, 905,000, 203. Beautiful. Let's go on to our next piece of paper, the back side of our problemo set. <clears throat> okay, we got uh, this number right here. It's 2,480. 2,480. They want us to write it in standard form. So 2,000, right? 480. And then they want us to write over here, the fine people at Eureka, Wish us to write an expanded form. So I'm going to start off with 2,000. 
plus what? Plus 400. Plus what? Plus 80. And I'm going to have to put the 80 down there. Equals that. All right, so now um, this chart is for expanded form. They're giving us the expanded form, but no uh, word form and no uh, standard form. So this says 20,400. Boy, that's really faint. 82. 20,482. So I'm going to make my 20,000, comma, and 482. All right, time to do this in written form. 20,000, comma, comma, and 482. Four. Hundred eighty hyphen two. So twenty thousand four hundred eighty two. We'll continue on. We have sixty four thousand one hundred six. So there's my sixty four thousand, comma, then one hundred six, one zero six. We're gonna write this in expanded form. So we go 60,000, right? That's our 10,000's place value. Plus what? I hope you said 4,000. I thought it. Plus what? 100. Plus what's left? A little six. Okay, in this row, they're showing us um, the, uh, the old um, standard form. And it's 604,016. So let's write it out in word form. 604,000, right? Comma, 604,000. And then we're left with just uh, 16. So I just write 16. Now let's write the expanded form down here. I'm going to cross out number four. Six, uh, 604,000. So 600,000, right? There's no 10,000s, so we put plus 4,000. Plus what? We go all the way to 16? Nope. We don't put 16 there. We put a 10 because there's one 10, right? Plus six. That's really important. That's a, I almost messed up on that one. So 10 plus 6. So we have 64,016. And our very last one's also in standard form. And it says 960,060. Notice I didn't say the word and. It's just 960,060. So let's write this in word form first. We're going to write 960,000. 960. Thousand, comma, and then we just put sixty because there's no hundreds. Nine hundred sixty thousand, comma sixty. That's how it works. Now, behold, as we enter the realm of the expanded form. So we're going to start off with nine hundred thousand. We're going to add sixty thousand, and then we're going to add a little sixty here because there's no ones, and that's what it equals. So there we have it, problem set lesson four. We're moving right along this year. Don't you think so? Well, I certainly think so, Mr. David. Oh, Math Mud, what are you doing? Oh, just hanging out, watching you make the place value charts. Well, I didn't actually make too many today. No, you didn't. You got a joke for us, Math Mud? Yes. I was standing, and I mean, I was walking down the street, and I saw a man on the corner. And he told me he hadn't had a bite in three days. Wow, what did you do? I bit him. Ha, ha, ha. Well, thank you, Math Mutt. Great joke, as always. Ladies and gentlemen, come join us back in the Google Meet with the third graders. If we're still working on math, a little third grade math review won't hurt you. At least I don't think it will. <laughs>